All right, hi there. So today in the post, I received this package here. Um, it's come from Chronos uh, Engineering Limited. Uh, this is a four inch, uh, four jaw self centering chuck. So there's the Allen bolts there to attach it. Some jaws and a chuck key. Uh, so let me get this out. Here's the chuck itself. Oh, it's swimming in oil anyway, so they definitely didn't want it to rust. Let's take a look at it. And yeah, it looks quite nice actually. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to clean all this oil off it and uh, then we'll take a look at it and fit it on the lathe. Right, okay, so I've just taken the back of the truck off to take a look inside. And as you can see, it's well greased in there. Too much, but that's probably just the, um, when it's in storage and packing. But the other thing is, it is just thick with uh, metal grinding dust so it definitely needs to be well cleaned so I'm just going to quickly do that and then I'll get back to it okay so here's the chuck after an hour's cleaning and um, so all I done was is I put it in a bath with diesel and used a paintbrush to clean it down and get all the dust out of it and then use some fresh diesel to uh, get the rest off and clean it off properly and then blew it off with an air compressor. Uh, so these edges here where the jaws run, they were actually razor sharp. So I've actually deburred those with a really fine diamond lap and uh, they are all good now. Uh, the machining on the actual chuck looks to be really good. Um, the scroll also had a razor sharp burr around the edge, which I've also deburred. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly assemble the chuck. Okay, so I've got the uh, chuck fully assembled now. I did put some uh, light uh, machine oil on there. It's a uh, sewing machine oil. I don't know what the viscosity of that is, but it's pretty uh, light oil anyway. But you could also use like um, three in one oil, I suppose. Um, so obviously my lathe only actually has a 80 mil uh, back plate on it. So I'm gonna need a back plate for it. So I purchased this one here from Arc Euro Trade UK. Uh, these are under 20 pounds, and when you consider this has been fully machined, and they're actually uh, really decent quality. Um, and also when you consider that a piece of steel, if I was to purchase this and then make it myself, is around about 12 to 15 pounds anyway, and a little bit extra for having it fully machined is uh, well worth paying because the last time uh, on my free jaw four inch truck I machined one and the register I made was slightly too small and I had a lot of trouble getting the uh, lathe chuck concentric uh, but these ones uh, I actually purchased one of these in the end for the free jaw as well they fit absolutely perfectly and I've cleaned all these off all the surfaces and they fit absolutely perfect and the holes line up perfectly and there is no movement on that register whatsoever so I'm just gonna quickly install the allen head screws on this and then we'll get it onto the lathe okay so I've got the chuck on here and it's uh, hanging on there by the nuts and this is how much play there is in the register 
and that is actually supposed to be like that because I don't know all the terminology because I'm not an engineer I'm just a hobbyist uh, so the reason for that is is because if we snug these nuts up on the back here so it's not too tight or not too loose but it's just holding on snugly we can then use the dial indicator and a mallet and we can turn this and find the high spots with the dial indicator and then we can turn it to the um, where the low spot would be and tap it back and true it up that way and then when we've got the chuck so it's completely true we can then torque down the uh, nuts on the back here so it's completely tight and then it, sh then it will be completely concentric so that's what I'm going to do next So I think this is the high spot, so I'm basically going to turn it round 180 degrees and then tap it back the other way. And find the high spot again. And turn it round to the low spot. And then we should get less and less run out every time we do this until you get it down to the minimum amount. Now this rod here is a piece of ground uh, bright steel I think so it's reasonably accurate. Okay, so as you can see there, the needle's not running, moving as much now. So we're down to a one hundredth of a millimetre, which is uh, pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start talking the nuts up on the back around with it. Okay, so I've been messing around with it a little bit off camera and I've got, got it down to basically zero run out. It's within a one hundredth of a millimetre anyway, so it's pretty decent. So I'll just show you. So yeah, there's very little run out now. Um, and for the stuff that I do, uh, that's perfect. Uh, that's basically what I get my free jaw down to as well. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the one thing, did you hear that clicking? noise when it was turning. So the actual pinions are quite loose. I don't think that will affect chuck in any way, it's just a slightly annoying noise. My free jaw doesn't do that. But uh, yeah, anyway, yeah I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, so this was the cheapest full jaw self-centering chuck that I could find in the UK and that came from Chronos uh, Engineering and the back plate came from Arc Euro Trade. Uh, in total it was under £70 so it's not too bad. I was going to order it from China but the trouble is there's a chance of getting import tax on it. Uh, then it would end up costing more than this anyway and the quality might not be as good. Um, at least buying it from uh, Chronos, I was, I'd be able to send it back. Whereas to send it back to China is going to cost a small fortune. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, um, please comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I will be bringing out some new videos in the near future. And yeah, I just like to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.